I believe we can prevent heart attack. We can put in place strategies to reduce risk. We can literally plan to change your future. Welcome, my name is Dr. Warwick Bishop. I'm a cardiologist, I'm an author, and a keynote speaker. Together with that, I'm CEO of the Healthy Heart Network, and I'm all about trying to help people live as well as possible for as long as possible. You probably know, heart disease is huge in Australia. Every 20 minutes, someone suffers a heart attack, and we know that over 20 people per day die from heart disease. This is on the backdrop of over 9 million people globally being impacted by this condition. Truthfully, most of these could probably have been avoided if only we knew what to do. Well, this podcast is all about helping you understand better where blood pressure, weight, cholesterol and all the other bits and pieces around there can help, together with general health literacy for general better health. I am on a mission to impact not just heart health but general health on a global scale. If you enjoy this podcast, I would be honoured for a five-star review and you can share it with your family and friends. Who knows? It may well save someone you love. Hi, my name is Dr. Eric Bishop and welcome to my podcast and videocast station and thank you for joining me. Look, today's podcast is an interesting one. An article that came past me just recently and, uh, well, I thought I'd share it because I hope you find it interesting as well. Look, for ever, I've been delighted if I can encourage people to exercise. And of course, any exercise is good exercise. And having a routine or a habit is a great way to make sure you fit that exercise in. Because if it's part of your routine, you'll likely follow through on it. Trying to do anything piecemeal often leads to frustration or disappointment because you haven't allocated the time. Well, here's an interesting one. What if there was a difference in your results of exercise based on what time of the day you did your exercise? Well, it turns out that a research group actually looked at this. They were looking at a exercise intervention on a large number of patients and by sheer virtue of the volume of people they needed to look after they had to split those individuals into two groups a morning group and a night group and quite serendipitously quite by chance they realized that there was different responses to exercise in the morning and in the later in the day group as they collected data. So they ran a, a 12-week program um, running cardiovascular fitness and high-intensity training. These were for fit, active uh, people in their middle-life ages. And as I said, they had to split the groups, or split the group, and that was only by chance, but by doing so, they started to collect data. And very interestingly, on the same programs, what they found was that women who exercised in the morning were more likely to lose fat and build muscle than women who exercised later in the day. Now, this didn't mean that um, you wouldn't build muscle if you exercised later in the day and the, the changes were only minor, but nonetheless, a very, very interesting observation. Well, what do you say about men? Were men impacted as well? Well, it seemed from their research that if men exercised morning and night, morning or night, they tended to lose about the same uh, body fat and tended to gain about the same muscle. So it didn't make a great deal of difference in those parameters. However, the researchers clearly demonstrated that men who exercised in the evening had a better reduction in their blood pressure, a better reduction in their cholesterol as well, and overall reported less fatigue. So there you go. If you're thinking about 
trying to time your exercise, you might think if you're a lady wanting to maximize your fat loss and muscle gain results, you might exercise in the morning. And if you're a male wanting to maximize your blood pressure response, cholesterol, and keep as energetic as possible, you might uh, shift your exercise to afternoon, early evening. The researchers pointed out that one of the benefits of exercise and doing exercise at the same time each day is it helps regulate your circadian rhythm and therefore improves sleep. And this is even um, magnified if you're able to incorporate sun exposure because that sun exposure will tie in with your melatonin, uh, pineal gland and melatonin, and again with your circadian rhythms and ensure better sleep quality. So we've known for a good, good period of time that any exercise is good exercise. Doing it regularly is fantastic. Doing it in the sunshine and fresh air is preferable if at all possible. It certainly helps with sleep and overall general sense of well-being. But if you're a lady, you may well get more bang for your buck if you exercise in the morning. And if you're a man, you may get better blood pressure, cholesterol, and energy levels if you exercise in the evening. I thought that was fascinating. It turns out I tend to do most of my own exercise later in the day, but that just happens to fit with the way work is, but it works for me. I hope you found that fascinating. I certainly did. If you have any queries or questions, drop us a note. If you've got any suggestions for future podcasts, again, let us know on info at drwarwickbishop.online. Again, thank you for joining me. And till next time, I wish you live as well as possible for as long as possible. Take care and bye for now. Ever wonder what your risk of heart attack is? After all, it is the single biggest killer in the Western world. It accounts for 9 million deaths globally. And the scary thing is, it seems to be able to affect anyone. Well, if you're interested in knowing more about your risk and understanding more about precision around that, please check out a free risk check at www.virtualheartcheck.com. Dot .au